into bits in a plastic tub. I wonder what they're for. Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Just before we get going on this video, I just want to thank everybody for their amazing comments. Um, there's been such admiration and and praise, and I'm feeling quite humbled by it. But I'm just um, somebody who's just wanting to build a model railway, and I just want to do it as detailed as I possibly can for the scale I've got. You know, so you know, so thank you once again. Now. Um, I had a comment from Robert, uh, Robert's train set, and he said, could I, could we see the old canopies against the new ones? So certainly, um, I'm not going to put it on top and it is a little bit difficult to hold it, but there it is. If I sort of hold that like that, so hopefully you can see the difference. Um, Maybe if I can do it that way as well. So if you remember, we had the glazing on the top and everything looked quite clean. And, you know, that was in the days when railings were made from pieces of acetate drawn on with a pen. Because that was the only sensible way I could do it, you know. But um, I've got them all lined up here, so you can see. That's what the old canopy used to look like. See, the station is pretty much as it was at the end of the last video, which is when I weathered the roof, if you remember. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing a number of different things. But first up, let's have a look at these lift towers. Right, welcome back. So as you can see, these are the old towers um, made of card. Um, but as you can see, if you look across there, they're all warped and well, they've passed the best really, haven't they? It's, I think sometimes the card models do work very, very well. But if the card does, is a little bit on the thin side, as you can see here, they do deform quite easily and soon look wrong if you like, um, for want of a better phrase, because they're just, you know, they're not strong enough. So what I've done then is gone ahead and made some 3D printed versions. They might be thinking, what on earth is this one? Um, <coughs> well, as you can appreciate, the uh, this is the one going on platform four or five, and it goes through the middle of a truss beam and so what I've done is literally just cut out a hole um, you won't see that mess because it'll be underneath the canopy um, so I'm really not that fussed by it you'll see this bottom section down here and the little corner pieces um, so but that's about it really and also these bits here you might think well what am I doing with putting those on uh, but I just feel like it I'm just going to put those bits on just to help satisfy myself is that they will sort of go up a little bit higher than than just that bit if that makes any sense whatsoever so this is the one going on platform 4 13 14 i printed the bottom piece and it the detail didn't come out very well so I've, i just cut the top off and printed it again um what i'm going to do is the canopy will sit the platform canopy will sit on top of that so again you won't see that but once that's been painted up the blue and white I think that will look quite effective this is the one that um, I want to show you I'll show you this process what I do to get these lines and ridges in it this has got to be sprayed so the lines and ridges will be absolutely fine but I'll show you that in a minute but this is how they come off the printer now it's not bad by any means but you could probably just about make out, if I move it around a little bit, you might just be able to make out the fact that it does have mild ridges in it. I'm trying to find a place where the light's picking it up. I can't, there. Yeah, hopefully you might just be able to see that. 
you can hear it as I run my fingernail up and down it. So first of all, all that needs to be removed. Right, it's simply to file it down. So I would take a small file and literally just file the surface smooth. Now, to put these marks on, you'd think, well, I need to use some kind of square. But if I use a traditional woodworker square, they're often quite big. So what I've done is I've made a mini one. Yeah, it's a weenie. In fact, if I put the ruler against it, look, four centimetres, 40 millimetres long. So, so that's all that is, is just two halves. And I've literally just glued them together. So I made a left and a right hand and just slapped them together with some super glue. I'll tell you what, it works a treat. And then all I do is put that on there, just like a, just like you would with a traditional woodworking tool like that. Obviously I do it flat on the table. And then with the scalpel, I just run round like that. And then when I've done them all, line up the scalpel with the next face. So there, put, put the scalpel in, run down there, so on and so on. Right, well there they are. They're all printed and been primed up. Um, I just used a Halfords primer, but again, any primer that you've got will do the job, as long as it's suitable for plastics, of course. Now, if, you, if I show you one of these older ones, actually that one, um, you'll notice it's got these steps on. Now, at the moment, I'm not going to put those steps on just for now. Um, the reason being is because I've got to make the um, little glass bridge. I'll sh insert a picture right here now. I this bit. So I'm going just to make sure everything's all lined up. I'll leave it until I've made that. Then I'll make the, the actual steps. Right, well, there you can see I've painted all the lift towers. And yes, I have made a mess. Um, there's been this one side, this side particularly is quite bad and down here. So it happens from time to time. I've obviously touched something that's still wet and I've plastered it everywhere. I try not to, um, but there you go. I'm just going to use some isopropyl alcohol. And I'll just put a tiny bit in the lid or other suitable container. Don't need much at all. So you can see literally just a little drip okay put that somewhere where i'm not going to tip it over now i'm going to use a brush which isn't quite so precious and you can see this one's a little bit more um well damaged if you like i suppose they don't last long sometimes these brushes i'm literally just putting it on and just teasing it teasing the area with my brush and then I'm just going to give it a mild scrape just to get the last little bit off. And I'm pressing really lightly. I'm literally just dragging over the surface. Again, over the top. And you can see it's not far off gone now. So I'm just literally just going to take my finger, streak it up. In the meantime, this is the tower that goes on platform 6-7, I believe it is. And there is a metal strip running down here. Why? Because that's where the wires go. So to get that and to try and get a nice crisp line, I'm going to use some masking tape. Now this isn't the Tamiya sort, but it's probably a cheap knockoff. But to be honest with you, I find it fine. Um, so I think a lot of model shops sell this sort of stuff. Susanna had a very good idea, and that was to use insulating tape, electrical stuff. And that does work quite well. And all I'm going to do is literally just tap it on, dab it on. Why? Because if you drag it, as you would do traditionally, um, that's more likely when you're going to get the paint running under the tape. You see, when I've got, when I do it's all done now, it'll be everywhere. When, just to prove a point, paint has its own back. Right, let's have a look then. It's been about 20 minutes. So hopefully this is nice and crisp. All good so far. 
Good so far. Now I'm quite liking these little lines that have appeared down the side because there would be some little bits like that. But yeah, that looks all right to me. Right, so that's it. You can see I've touched it up now. It's perhaps not completely perfect, but that will certainly be an awful lot better. And obviously once I've got the steps on these side pieces, that will start to look an awful lot better. Well, I did show you lots of little bits at the beginning. Now, these are steps going down to platform 13 and 14. Now, what I am going to do is make some railings to go inside there. Uh, so there'll be, I believe there's a central railing and some either side. Um, and I think there are parts of this which are painted blue, I think. It might even just be the uh, supports, which I'll show you shortly. But obviously all of that needs painting up inside, both of those. This and these pieces here are like spacer buildings. Um, I believe they're either offices or something like that. That I believe is a storeroom. And I think that goes at the end of one of those. That I believe goes at the end of something like that. And that goes like that and then you can see I've added a little bit extra to appear as if it goes around a curve which obviously it will have to go around the platform all right so I'm now going to start painting this up or the steps anyway and we'll take it from there right I'm ready now to put some yellow lines on these steps I was contemplating whether I should do it or not but you know why not so what I'm going to do first of all is I've used the actual model to determine the width of the step. So I put my hand around the other side so you, hopefully you can see. And so I've lined up the edge of the tape there and I'm marking off the edge of the tape there. And I'll just keep going down to do that and just make a little slice. Take a piece which is less than, less than a millimetre just do a slice i'm going to do two cuts through that hopefully that should go through in fact i'm going to do three i'm going to be daring <laughs> and i'm going to take those ones off first so you end up with a little slice so i'm literally just going to put it down Just use my finger. Try and bring it forward a bit. Right, so I'll get those put on. Um, at the moment, I'm only going to do the bottom section um, because I think it would be difficult to see up um, so yeah I think I'll just do the bottom section and you never know I might have a mad fit of um, prototypicalness and do the top as well we'll see how it goes so there we go yeah I did decide to put it on all of them well you know what I'm like so there we go and so that's a simulation of the windows down the side there I might just go over with another layer of varnish uh, but hopefully you can make out the different greys going down the side there and as you probably have noticed there, I've printed off some railings which will sit in there. And obviously I will just cut them off at the top. Right, last up today is this bit here. Now I might be thinking, what's that? Well, I'll put a photograph on the screen for you now. But this is part, or these are part of the waiting area for trains on platform 13 and 14. I wouldn't say it's a waiting room because it's probably more of a shelter, to be honest with you. You've got a wall and then a canopy that comes over the top and that's about it really. So if it gets a bit windy in Manchester or a bit wet, people will probably get wet. <laughs> um, maybe if you've had the experience of waiting on platform 13 and 14 behind one of these, then maybe you'd like to say. Um, but what I'm gonna do, is to glue that to a piece of acetate and you'll probably realize that it's come straight off the back of the printer and then i'm going to glue another one to the back just 
like that. So the acetate will be sandwiched in the middle like that. Right, and then the next stage for this is literally just to trim that off. So I'm literally just slicing the scalpel down the side like that and just snap that like so. And again down there. So I'll have to paint that as well. The next time you see it will be on the layout. Well, there it is. That's the work that I've been doing this week. So you can see now we've got these screens here ready for the waiting area. They were populated with seats. And hopefully I can get that before the RXTT comes down. But if I put the camera down, you can see the buildings down there for platform 13 and 14. All the trains coming, trains coming. Just this. Ooh, gratefully <laughs> nothing is fixed and i'm not even sure i've got these buildings in the right order but um we'll sort that out there's the lift towers if you remember those so there's the that one down there for 13 and 14 these ones have now been remade and i've placed that part on the top for the moment i haven't put the tower in just yet um, I just realised I haven't painted the doors, so I need to do that, and then I should glue that in. Um, I won't be gluing these towers in just yet until this um, section has been replaced, but that won't be long now. So I'm hoping to get the canopy started this week. Um, that runs along platform 13 and 14. Um, so I'm on holiday now for this next week. Um, I'm some of you might remember I'm back into teaching now, so I will be enjoying the school holidays. I miss them. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping to put out at least one more video. Well, so we'll see what happens over this next week. And uh, so please do stay tuned and I will catch you very, very soon. Two videos on your screen now. So please do take a look at those to the end and I'll catch you again very, very soon here on Piccadilly. Bye for now.